Hey, what's up you guys? I'm coming at you with another digital camera review. I've seen you guys like my other one and I got an even better one for you today. I just got it in the mail today, of course from eBay, and we're going to be looking at the Sony HX5V. This camera came out March of 2010. It's almost eight years old, but you'll be surprised about what it can do. Hey, what's up you guys? We're outside now so we can talk about the specs of this camera. It's a rainy day so I got a little towel so we can keep everything dry. Alright, so this camera is a 10 megapixel rocking the new Sony X more R CMOS sensor. It's backlit so it gets even better pictures at low light. Rocking a 25 millimeter all the way up to 250 millimeter lens. What's great about this lens is that it is a 3.5 all the way to f8 with a built-in ND filter so if it's a really bright day it could even cut down more on that bright sunlight for you. If we look on the side here it will advertise GPS because this camera does have a GPS tagging for Google Maps with 10 times zoom with their new optical steady shot. And if we look on the back here you will see a 3 inch TFT screen rocking 230,000 dots. Not super high resolutions, but you can see what's on the screen and what you're looking at. If we look on the top here, you will see we are finally rocking Dolby Digital stereo recording with left and right input, also with Sony's very own HD AVC HD recording. It just means they can record 1080p at extra pixels and it's super crisp and if you look down here lower you will see it says Xmore R 10.2 megapixels I love that and if we cut the camera back on because it wants to go to sleep and you will see a burst mode and a single shot mode I love that there's an actual button for this it is right next to your on and off switch which is illuminated to let you know it is on Jeez, there's a lot of cars have done this earlier Right next to your shutter button is your wide and zoom in button rocking your nine different modes from video to automatic panorama all the way up to nighttime twilight which they call it handheld twilight. And if we turn it back on the front here, we're gonna talk about even more of the features. This camera is just cram packed full of features for it being almost eight years old. This camera has an ISO from 100 all the way up to 3200, which is still kind of normal today. And it can actually do smile detection up to eight people. It has one of their super fast auto focusing motors in here, which is great. I tried it out earlier. It's able to focus on me super quickly, me looking at my face and then looking at something on the table. And with it being able to detect eight different people, it can prioritize the adults from the kids. And don't forget about smile picture mode. This camera even has intelligent scene recognition, which means it will take a bunch of different pictures over a couple of seconds and stitch them all together so the whole photo turns out really good exposed and you won't have a messed up photo. Now we're going to switch over and you're going to see me on the camera. I wanted to see how I looked at 1080p 60fps when we're not on my HX80. Now I know this camera has the Exmor backlit CMOS sensor which is supposed to be really good for nighttime shooting. This camera does do Dolby Digital surround sound, so I'll even sound better, and even if I'm behind the camera, I should sound very good. So I wanted to show you guys what I look like, because I know you guys miss me, and I hope you guys like this video. What I'm going to do now is do some sliding shots like I always do of this camera, and I'm also going to take some panorama shots, because this camera is supposed to do really good panoramas. I'm going to take some and let you guys see what they look like. Alright you guys, we're back inside to do our final thoughts. Um, 
I like this camera a lot because it has a very good image sensor and a processor for 2010, which is still good to this day. It lets us do 1080p at 60 FPS. The screen is very good. All the different type of shooting modes are very good. Um, I don't really have any complaints about it. It can shoot over an hour and a half of footage um, knowing you got a newer battery because this one's the original and it's almost eight years old and it's almost half dead right now after shooting that little outdoor scene. So I'm gonna get some new batteries and we're gonna try that out of course. Um, you'll see some of the panorama shots I took. That worked out very well. I was able to just track it very quickly. Um, it shot it almost like a 15 FPS video and it just stitched it together very quickly. Um, I did some of the other low light shots you'll see I took of downstairs, uh, the little Christmas stuff we got going on. And it takes very good pictures at low light. I really don't have any complaints about this camera. The only real complaint I would have is that I wish it had a wider aperture um, so I could shoot even darker, um, which is still a problem for cameras a day unless you're paying, let's say, $800. So for this being a budget camera under $50, um, I, I have to say it is the king. Uh, I don't know yet, whoa, I don't know yet. We'll see how the other cameras stack up, but none of them can do 1080, 60 FPS at this price range. So if you can find one on eBay used or um, get one just like it, there's other ones, you know, of course, Canon and Nikon do cameras like this but if you can find one under 50 bucks i definitely recommend it there's no actual disadvantages with this camera if you're vlogging or you're just taking normal pictures um it's a must have just because of the 1080p 60 fps the dolby digital surround sound the long battery life and all the different intelligent shooting features that allow you to shoot in all kinds of different environments without having to have different cameras it's really an all-in-one camera so i hope you guys enjoyed this review i still got cameras coming in the mail so we're going to do them of course but this might be the second vlog camera see you guys later